Well, howdy ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to X4 with the Star Wars mod. So today's going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be looking at uh, some cool stuff from uh, Mick. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Harrower. And uh, also I want to do a little tutorial for some of you guys that just get just got started. Uh, like I've gotten comments about people that have just started the game because they started watching this series, stuff like that. Started watching this channel. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the new start. But anyways, let's go ahead and... Uh, just hop into it. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, here's the Harrower. Uh, already confirmed for the next patch. So this is looking really, really good. Um, plenty of hangar bays and stuff like that for the Harrower. I can't wait to actually see what we're going to be looking like for the bridge. But yeah, like, this is a really highly requested ship, so really looking forward to this ship. Because as we can see, it's like in this picture here, uh, hangers on the left and right side, stuff like that. So yeah, really looking forward to it. And so there's a quick little video. So yeah, as we can see, it's like TIE fighters are leaving from all the hangers at once. So I'm really interested to see what kind of uh, carrying capacity the ship's going to have. Can't wait to actually review it and get di deep into it and see like everything about it. What weapons she can mount, what her firepower is going to be looking like. I already know she's going to be XL and she should be running between the uh, size of a Venator and a Victory 2. So yeah, it should look really, really cool. So as we keep looking at the screenshots, like, yeah, I'm really interested about this ship. I'm really interested to see what she can do, see if what her personal offense looks like, stuff like that. Especially after what we saw with the Victory 2 earlier on in the week. Uh, with dealing with multiple fighters at once. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting ship to take a look at. Anyways, we're going to switch over to the tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, this is going to be fun today. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments about uh, people that have just bought the game because they've seen one of my videos and they're trying to get into the mod and everything. So, this is like really like all about the new starts. Okay? So, this is where you're going to pick your real, like your start. So, and I usually go with the Fruit of Gaunt Scientist, but we'll look at that in a second. So, you've got the Order Recruit, and the Order is really interesting because some of the ships that you can get uh, by having a positive bonus from the start. So, as you start building a trade empire and stuff like that, it's like you can have some pretty interesting ships, uh, such as like the Enforcer and the 546 Cruiser. Um, yeah. So, like the Enforcer, for example, great ship. It's a great escort. Uh, and then you've also got the 546, which is a nice little starter carrier for when you're getting through with the new start. Next up, you've got the Republic. So you start with the E-Wing. But there's some interesting ships that you can get uh, being with the uh, new Republic. Same thing in the Republic Trader, except this time you just get a uh, G9 Rigger. Then you got the Imperial Navy. Imperial Trader. So as you were seeing through the, some of these, like the, some of the ships that you can get with either one of these, but the order in the uh, Rebel Alliance is really the way that I'd probably go if you were going to go with one of those. Mandalorian Mercenary. So this is like the Mandalorians. And they've got some really interesting ships as well. So as you start building your, like, little, starting up with your trade empire and stuff like that, and starting to get miners out and starting to bring in some money, um, so you can get ships like the Keldabi. I mean, these things pack huge firepower. And then you've also got stuff like the Camigula. Uh, really good ships. The Lucky Winner. So this is going to be, uh, I think, like, um, trade Federation, I think. But yeah, this one's not bad. Uh, like you can get really good ships out of playing with uh, the Techno Union, I believe this is the start is. Um, and you start at two hundred fifty thousand, so it's a good start. But you also have to look at what kind of ships that you'll be getting. So, so like, there's some pretty decent ships here too, such as like the Providence, and even the Vulture, and the Penance Cruiser. So. Very good ships. Then we got the Corporate Sector Defense Officer, which is going to be Corporate Sector Authority Start. And that's actually kind of the st start that we're going to be going with. And I don't have any footage of this, but uh, any little 
video example, but uh, the bankrupt bounty hunter is an also very interesting start because you have no money whatsoever, and you just start with a ship. But doing bounty hunting missions and stuff like that actually was pretty pretty decent. It's a good start. Um, very interesting. But we're going to go with the Forgotten Scientist. And the reason why I like the Forgotten Scientist is because of you can ally with almost anyone. Um, the lowest that you'll ever be is negative 15 with any faction. So it's going to be a lot easier to get through. Most of these factions, such as like the Republic Security and the Imperial Navy and the Order, they're going to be starting a war with multiple factions. Like the Order's going up against the Rebel Alliance and... Um, the Empire at the same time, and then the Empire is going up against the Order and the New Republic at the same time, and the Death Watch at the same time. So, yeah, it's like there's you got to really pick and choose your starts. But we're gonna go with the Forgotten Scientist, not to mention for good starters, it has a million credits, and you also have all the research unlocked. So, we're gonna start with this one. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Like, you already start with the research, so you start with Bozo Ta, and if you open up your map screen. You have your research button, which the other starts you don't have. You'll have to unlock the player HQ and do everything else. So as an easy first start, I'd say this is probably your best way to go. Alright, so as I was saying, like we already have 1 million credits. We have a TIE shuttle, which we're going to take an upgrade, of course. And then we're going to get... Uh, we're to get up here to the CSA Wharf. But we can already see it. But what you want to really go for right off the start is an R41. Because as you guys can see, the hull is only 299,000. So by the time that you get everything upgraded, it's a good way to go. But we're not there yet. So you're going to have to run missions and also doing some sort of mining. Now, another thing, too, that a lot of people will uh, say is a great way to start is uh, if you have the player HQ... Just try to grab a builder and put some modules on it. So if we go to this and plant build, this is an option. We're not going to be doing this, but this is an option. Where you have the energy cell production on it, and then you just put one thing of storage. And you should get people to start trading with you. And as you guys can see, if we hit confirm module changes. 1.5 million is the estimated bribe price. So that how much is how much we started with. So it's not going to pull you in a ton of cash right off the start. What I'd like to do instead is if we go to here, we can buy SETI class transports. And I usually like to set these guys up to where they can start trading some hull parts. Because as you do a new start, a lot of these shipyards and a lot of these uh, stations run out of supplies very, very quickly. Because the game just started. All the factions are trying to expand and move into their own territories. Okay? So they're building up fleets. They're building up more miners, more traders, stuff like that. So you need to get your hands on these as quickly as possible. So we're going to go with our heavy cargo build. And see, it's 1.5 million, but we only got a million. So, things that you can do in order to make your early money, is since you start, everyone starts with their own ship, all we need to do is go to it. So, you, Shift D is the standard uh, button in order to teleport to your ship. And we're going to undock. All right, so all you need to do is fly to the next station. So since we already have an idea of where the jump gates are, all we need to do is just get to the next sector and just fly past stations. And as we fly past stations, we'll get missions to pop up. So as you guys can see, there's one right there. So you can just click on your mission offers, and here's all the missions. So demonstrate our presence. All I have to do is just patrol. 
So with this, doing this mission, all I have to do is just fly in this zone for 20 minutes. And that's it. Once we accept this and we do that, then we'll build relations with uh, corporate sector authority, which you can always tell which factions which with the colors. So corporate sector authority is who we're we getting relations with. Now, how you can check your relations? If you put click on your personal information, there's all your relations. So we're at negative 15 with Mandalorian Death Watch, and the Kaaka is negative 30. But as you guys can see, Galactic Empire plus six. Uh, Corp Sector Authority is at zero, Divisions at zero, Rebel Alliance is at negative seven, Mandalorian Free Clan is negative five. So you can, there's a lot that you can actually work with uh, playing as the start. And that's why I highly recommend it. Oh, and don't mind the extra 150,000 that we just got. Uh, I do have a mod running, link in the description below for all the mods that I have. Uh, I've got a mod collection that I usually run and I highly recommend it. So as you guys can see right here, that we have these stations discovered, and it's because of this advanced satellite that we started with. Because I've got uh, advanced uh, an advanced satellite uh, mod that helps me see stations when I pop just a single advanced satellite down. So yeah, it really helps for scouting in the future. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode of X4 with Star Wars mod. Hope you guys are getting uh, a little bit more intrigued with uh, your starts, and like I said, it's pretty important to know which one you're going with. So that way you know that you don't start at war with someone or who you are at war with with your starts. But if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, join the Discord. Link in the description. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ladies, everybody.